the Casimir lament. When the vacuum between two plates began humming the exact pitch of a sigh, recorded from a scientist who never breathed it, but dreamed it every night before dying. In 1948, Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir predicted that two uncharged metal plates floating in a perfect vacuum would mysteriously pull together. Not from gravity, not from magnetism, but because the quantum vacuum itself was whispering. Empty space isn't empty. It thrums with fleeting particles, popping in and out of existence. Between the plates, only certain wavelengths fit, like notes in a tiny piano. Outside, all frequencies rush in. The imbalance creates pressure. A silent, invisible tug. But here, the haunting twist. Decades later, a lab assistant recorded a faint, mournful tone emanating from a Casimir cavity, matching the frequency of a sigh. No one had breath near it. Yet the scientist who first theorized it, Casimir, had whispered of hearing the vacuum's lullaby in his dreams just before he passed. Was it resonance? Or did the quantum foam, in its endless dance, mimic the human heart's final breath? Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science content.